Hello. Today's video is going to be a partial ramble and a partial rant. Where one switches to the other is going to probably be difficult to figure out. But that is nothing new considering my videos. What you are looking at on the screen is my live trading log. These are assets I am trading at the moment as they occur in real time. I do not recommend any of these assets. I do not promote any of these assets. Mm -hmm. If you choose to trade them, be sure you do, do your own research and take the time to understand the risks. Some of these assets mm -hmm. are not very strong in terms of market cap. Quite questionable, to be very honest. Some of them are high risk and should be really analyzed carefully. Now on to the meat of the video. My Twitter timeline has been filled with rhetoric of to the moon. Whether it's XRP, Bitcoin, Litecoin, or some other coin of whatever the moment is. Lately it has been NFTs and DeFi. This rhetoric is toxic and mm -hmm. unproductive. At the very minimum, it undermines any real value the asset holds. It makes the asset sound like a scam. It undermines any true investing or trading potential that the asset really does possess. At the very most, and this is debatable because there are many different facets to this particular discussion, but at the very most, it highlights the individuals whose incompetence put them in a position to invest a large sum of money with absolutely no experience whatsoever in the market. And now they are showing their desperation to try to recover a 50 to 75 percent loss of value. I'm going to make an example of this with myself. Roughly around the beginning of November of 2021, I purchased roughly 100 positions of sushi at $13.44. Luckily for me, I understood the risks of purchasing this asset. Unluckily for me, it dropped to $3.50. So I lost 75% value of what I was holding. I'm not happy about that, obviously, but nonetheless, that is simply the risk of trading and investing. That is a risk I understood when I purchased it, considering it wasn't that great of an asset with respect to market cap and trading volume to begin with. But that is the point. I did the analysis. I knew the risks. I didn't invest my entire budget into it. I diversified my budget appropriately, so the amount that it holds is not that significant compared to my other assets. That really is the whole point of these maxis, as they are typically called on Twitter. They will invest 20000 30000 or even $50,000 into one single asset. Basically all of their money. 
and then magically expect it to skyrocket to some unrealistic value. Then they act all surprised when we end up with a bearish correction like November 14th started and it loses significant value. That is a problem for the market because it hurts the asset when these people get out there on Twitter or some other social network and start promoting to the moon rhetoric because it hurts the asset because now anybody who is a professional trader may not want to trade it simply because it sounds like a giant scam. And for all somebody might know, it very well could be a giant scam. Trading and investing requires education. Education you can achieve on your own through reading, research, and understanding what you are investing in. Never invest all your money into one single asset unless you clearly and concisely understand the risks of such a decision. Those risks are extreme. It could work out well and many professional traders prefer to build a career around one or two assets. I personally prefer a limited number of assets. That way, if something goes wrong, I can trade out of them manually. There are specific risks to that kind of a limited diversification though. And again, I know what those risks are for making that kind of a decision. That really is the whole point of this conversation with this to the moon rhetoric. It promotes bad decision making. It promotes fear of missing out and it promotes scams. There is no such thing of fear of missing out. This mm -hmm. toxic ineptitude of you won't know if it's going to pump until it does. It's just manufactured idiocracy. A proper trading process, strategy, mental thinking, budget, all take into account a reasonable level of success for whether or not an asset pumps. And really, even the term itself is scammy. It should be whether or not the asset appreciates in value in a meaningful and technical way. That is the crux of trading and investing. Not looking for these quick dips and peaks that may or may not have any real lasting meaning to the asset, but rather looking for a consistent upward appreciative value as the asset continues to grow in strength and merit. That is proper trading. And that is really the whole point of what these people don't understand. And they lure unsuspecting individuals to purchasing these coins inappropriately. These so-called influencers should be called what they really are, scam artists. Personally, when I see this nonsense on Twitter, I just ignore them and block them. I say Twitter, but really it's any social media because they don't have any real place in fundamental trading. They're nothing more than noise that just gets in the way of any meaningful technical analysis and fundamental understanding of a given asset. 
it is important that when you do your training, take your time and understand what you are investing in. Know your risks, understand your budget, and just how much of each asset's position you are willing to take on. Plan for a worst case scenario as commonplace. That way you never have to worry about your budget or your trading. Yes, things go wrong and machines break and that can really screw up positions. But overall, on the average of scale and scope of trading, they are minimal impact if your trading plan has been properly laid out. Don't be lulled into the false sense of somebody knowing what they're talking about if they prognosticate or predict some coin is going to increase by 500%. Such rhetoric is only going to make you poor and them rich. And that is really the whole point of the process. A scam for them to take your money. Practice safe and sustainable trading. Ignore the influencers that preach nonsense. You are not going to get rich quick. No asset is going to magically go up 500% of its value. That's just not realistic. And if it does, just remember at some point it's going to fall just as hard. And the likelihood of you getting out is very remote. Trading is about sustainability. And if you're looking to grow a portfolio that can sustain multiple years of trading, then you need to practice that sustainability on every single trade. Understanding everything to the last detail. There is no substitute for research and there is no substitute for educating yourself on exactly what the market is doing at any given moment. As you can see from this trading history, I trade high frequency very quickly. So daily news may or may not affect my positions drastically. But I really don't pay much attention to the news because I know at the end of the day, it's all just noise. There are things I do pay attention to though. For example, when an exchange says it's going to liquidate and delist a coin, then I know that is a bad coin to be in and look to liquidate any positions I might be holding. Things like that you do need to pay attention to. But whether or not a company's single quarter returns are up or down really aren't that significant unless they are drastic or they have a history of poor performance. An overall education of your asset is critical and cannot be understated. Mm -hmm. I've probably ranted enough on this topic for now and rambled on it as well. If you like this type of content, please let me know. Like, share, subscribe if you're not. At the end of the day, always remember, no one is going to look after your finances the way you would. And no one knows your own financial situation better than you. Always take care to protect your own financial situation.
Until next time.